is a $100 electric skateboard. And this is a $1,000 skateboard. If you buy the cheapest electric skateboard you can find on Amazon, can you hang with the board that costs 10 times as much? Today, we're gonna find out. Both of these boards have a full charge, and we will put them through a series of tests where each board will win one point. At the end of the day, the person holding the losing board will be publicly humiliated in front of a whole bunch of hot girls. So I've got the J King board from Amazon here. This thing was a hundred bucks and there was a coupon, so I actually got it for like 80 something dollars. And I got the Miles Phantom here, the $1,000 board. I can't wait to get into this thing. This looks like something you charge your phone with. And we got a skate tool and check that out. Instruction booklet, all right. Here we got the Miles Phantom in black and yellow. I think it's sexy. Wow, we got carbon fiber on that thing. Big wheels, big motors. That's gonna be tough to follow. I can tell you right away, this is gonna be a cute board, dude. Let's do a side by side. <laughs> I gotta tell you, for a hundred bucks, this is kind of cool. Does Mike, it have one motor on it? I think it has one. I did not see a remote when I unboxed this thing, so I hope we're gonna be able to do this test. But it's it's all molded from plastic. Let's consult the instructions here. Power on. Yeah, how do you turn it on? Because there's no power button, there's no remote. Opening automatically when the motor rotates. Um, gravity sensor point. First put one foot on the gravity. Oh, God. Gonna get, take these for a spin? Yeah, let's do it. Is it going? Things torquey. <laughs> I got some progress. I got a rainbow light in the back, so everybody knows that's me. Unless I'm going the wrong way, and maybe the tail light is the headlight. I feel like it's breaking right now. I can't hear the motor going. All right, I'm gonna check out the instructions. If you wanna cruise around, it's all you. I, I think it's, it's super torquey. The brakes work really well. Smooth, I like how the trucks are loose enough for me to turn very easily. The wheels are smooth. I like the whatever compound you guys use is, is great. Like it's, it's not too rough, not too tough. Yeah, I really like it. I, I can see myself commuting on this thing for sure. There's a ton of torque. You can easily go up a hill. The weight of it is nice. All around a good board. I think it's basically saying the more you push, the faster you go. Here, beep, you can be electric riding. Like what? How good you ain't electric riding? <laughs> push hard again more times if you want to go faster. But yeah, you have to hear a beep before you can start electric riding. So here's the problem. There's a sensor in here, according to the manual, about right in here. And you have to be stepping on that sensor for it to think like, oh, he's trying to go faster. Problem is we have not found the sensor yet. I don't know if it's a myth. It's like the clitoris. So hopefully today we'll swing that luck around. Dude, I think I'm going, dude. So before we do these tests, I should mention that I am the owner of Miles Board. Today we're just gonna have fun. We're gonna be as unbiased as possible. Is it fun, right? That's the main point of these skateboards. It's just go out, feel like you're flying, and have a ton of fun getting from point A to point B. Dude, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Uh, I just had to push this thing up the hill. And that wasn't even our hill climb test. That was like a little hill to get to our hill climb test. What hill are we doing? This one? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Test number one, the hill climb test. Who can get up this massive hill the fastest on their electric skateboard? Let's go. One, go. <laughs> oh, you got a little start? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. There's no way I'm going up this hill. <laughs> I should have just ran. right <laughs> now. Yeah. Okay, so that was the hill climb. And this is the steepest hill in, in the San neighborhood. Diego. Yeah. It's like in San Diego. Yeah, for sure. So what do you think? Honestly. Shit <laughs> over <laughs> What do you what do you, who do you think won the hill climb? Phantom. Easy. Yeah. All right. Easy. One point for the Phantom. Easy on the hill climb. Test number two, portability. How portable is the board? Can it fit in the frunk of the Porsche? <laughs> Why don't you go first? Why don't you go first? I was pretty deep in there, but I don't think so. No. Definitely not fitting that way. Definitely not fitting this way. Not happening. <laughs> Watch this shit. Damn. Look at that. Like the lights and everything. Dude, it was made for this car. So in terms of size, right, this definitely got it beat. How about the weight? This is what? 
this, this that's I, like, that's 19 pounds. This is like seven. I forget <laughs> the nine. It's a lot less. Portability wise, J King takes it, dude. Hundred dollar board wins all the way. One point for J King. Hundred dollar board. So we're tied up. We are. For our next test, we're going a little far away, and the other board just won't make it there. I don't think there's any way we could make it there. So Gabe and I are taking these Sex Panthers and we put both the Phantom and the J-King board in Dennis's car right here to keep 100% charge on both of them, just to keep it fair, right? And we're shredding the Sex Panthers, dude. Look at these idiots in their cars. Idiots. Yoo! Our next test here on the two boards are a 500 foot drag race, an eighth of a mile, and we're gonna see who can get there in the quickest amount of time. I think I got you on this one. I got a strategy. No way, definitely not. <laughs> oh, I got you, dude! <laughs> oh, I dropped my mic! <laughs> Oh, my. oh shit! I thought I had him. Oh, I had you for sure. I think it's too far. Why is he slowing down? Oh, this is a great skateboard. Definitely smoked him. Hundred dollars. So you know. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's cheating. He's a cheater. He didn't even use the board. He didn't even use it. It's going, dude. It's actually going. It's going. We got it to go. Do you still want to run it back? I told him you cheated. He didn't even use the board. <laughs> he didn't even use the board. <laughs> what do you mean I cheated? <laughs> well, you want to do it again? Let's do it again. We switch right. boards actually to make it fair. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll switch boards and do it again. So, the, I mean, who won that one? I did. Does it count? Yeah, I still well, won. Well, you said I cheated, so it doesn't count. I know, you cheated and lost. That's the truth. <laughs> no, dude, we have to do it again. All right, we're going to do it again. Sweet. So the last one, inconclusive, because I cheated. <laughs> Which board won? The Phantom, easily, yeah. by landslide. Uh, yeah, it was, that was clear, no contest. Our next test is a top speed test. So we've got the speedometer apps on our phone and we'll take turns on both boards and see which one goes faster. Let's get it. Activate it. Okay, I, I could kind of feel it going. I'm at four miles an hour. Five, okay. Six, let's get it. We're moving. <laughs> we're at the five. <laughs> It's so fast, I'm like legitimately a little bit scared right now. I still got way more throttle. I was just frightened, man. I, I got up to like 25, 26, and there's still plenty more to go on the throttle, but I am getting like PTSD, a little scared. I don't really have gear on either, so I'm just being a pussy right now. I gotta send it again. I gotta do the top speed for the video, so here we go. Oh man, Let's try this again. Twenty nine. Thirty, baby. I'm happy with that. Woo! Oh man. Okay, we did it. We got thirty. Dude, this is the first time I've hit thirty on electric skateboard since I had a traumatizing leg break. The bone came out and everything. So I had a lot of PTSD just going up to speed, like all the bad things that could happen were in my mind. Like long story short, thirty miles an hour, baby. Okay, the J King did six miles an hour. Phantom got thirty miles an hour. 
What's up, we're the Tech Testers, and for Tuesday's Tremendous Tech Test, we're testing Teflon testing equipment with our Tasty Testies. We're testing the real world range of both boards and comparing them to what their product pages say. That's why we're filming this tomorrow instead of yesterday. It's also why T is gone, he's at work, and D is in. All right, well, let's go. Hey, no brakes at all on the J-King. Only a gas pedal, no brakes. These lovely Sorry. ladies walking in front of us are going faster than you. How does that feel? It's, it makes me feel very proud. Dennis, I love you, dude, but you're killing me here. Godspeed, my friend. I'm on some brick right now and doing terribly. Now we just got a nice, healthy cruise. It's really difficult to just maintain the, uh, the power on this. So if you want to go like really slow and have like a really frustrating time on a skateboard, but at least with a good view, this is a good spot for it. 3.2 miles. Not feeling much assist on this anymore. Yeah, lights well, out again. It's all she wrote. I guess it was not a very enjoyable experience for me. Rob's probably having a way better time. Okay, we've just crossed the 10 mile mark here. We're going back the way we came, baby. We just crossed the 15 mile mark here. I've got four bars on the battery. Four out of five bars. Oh, there he is. How did it go? So it did make it almost four miles. I had to walk all the way back because I was pushing back on this like a regular skateboard with no motor. I found it easier and faster. I don't think I had a good time on that at all today. I would not recommend that to anybody for any reason. It's day two of this range test. I've still got four bars on the remote and board. We're 15.62. Let's have some fun. Twenty miles in and three bars left on the remote. I'm pretty impressed so far. Twenty-five miles, almost twenty-six. Three bars left on the remote. Zeus himself has cast a spell on this board and given me some sort of infinite energy hack. We're at thirty miles. Two bars left on the remote. And warning: board low voltage. Thirty-three point six miles before the first low voltage warning. 35 miles, two bars left on the battery. I'm still cruising, dude, let's go. We're down to one bar on the battery, 36.8 miles in. I'm on the final bar. The infinite energy may be coming to an end here. I'm starting to think maybe there's too much battery in this thing. Maybe there's a quality control problem and they accidentally put three batteries in it. We're at 40 miles. I'm starting to feel a dip into power on the remote. We're at 41.7 miles. We're really close. All right, I'm slowed down to four miles per hour. This battery is effectively dead and our range, 42.72 miles. A next test, somebody's gonna get publicly humiliated. How it works is we will rock, paper, scissors. Whoever wins the rock, paper, scissors gets to pick their board. And then we're gonna ask three different people what they think of our getup and our board together, just the whole package deal, which one they like better. And the best out of three win. The loser is gonna get publicly humiliated. Who? has the best like get up and skateboard. If you had to say one person looks better than the other one, one person looks cooler, more stylish, who's it gonna be? It's gotta be this gentleman here. Ah! Wow, <laughs> Wait, why? The yellow and the red and the glasses and the uh -huh. shirt. I appreciate that, man. All right, we'll give you a point. <laughs> Reed, thank you, man. Hell yeah. You think which one is the and What? The Chinese came in clutch, dude. I got a point. You look like my daughter's boyfriend. Okay. I look. So he's he's won. That's best two out of three. He's won, which means I gotta do something really. No, no, no. Actually, let's let's go. Let's go best out of five. Yeah. Okay. 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 Out of us two, if you were single and you had to you had to take someone to like a wedding or some shit. I'll take you to a wedding because. Your, it's like more, you're really feeling these cargo pants. <laughs> outfit, but you're the same interesting person online. I'm a more in-person. Oh, all right. Is that one in one? Um, I need to get to know you. Okay. It's <laughs> the first time somebody's wanted to get to know me. Say so, though, I think that that board would be easier to ride because it's a little bit longer. Yeah. Hey. I, don't, I, don't I do love long. Really? So, these are electric? Yeah. What if I told you this one costs $100 and that one costs $1,000? Yeah. 
Cool. All right. I think I'll take a point on that one. <laughs> Tough call. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> okay, okay, that's half their vote. W what do you pick? Uh, four minutes. Ah! <laughs> oh man, that, I think that's three out of five already. All right, that means he wins, and I have to do something really, really embarrassing. I gotta get wet. So. <laughs> oh, I hate you for this. <laughs> So there you have it, $100 electric skateboard versus $1,000 electric skateboard. And uh, today, we found out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, today we found out which one's better, and there's a big price difference between these boards. If you want something to get around, I don't recommend this board. I don't know if I can recommend it for anybody. Maybe a child? Yeah, it'd be interesting. You can probably find better boards for a couple hundred bucks, but yeah. I don't, know what, I don't know what to say. Uh, I love this board actually. Uh, this is actually my first time riding it and it was great. Uh, I definitely suggest this board over that board. Uh, I didn't enjoy riding that board at all. And uh, thanks Rob for having me. Hell yeah, dude, thanks for coming out here. If you do want a deal on a board, you don't need to ride this piece of junk. You can get 100 bucks off this board, Miles Phantom, with the code ROB100 at checkout. We'll leave a link in the description. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, T. Let's go. You can follow him on Instagram. What's your Instagram? T Ribs. T E E R I B B Z Z. At T Ribs. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Yuck. <laughs>